ladies, it's Yaya. I wanted to show my secret squirrel box for the month of June. And the theme was, um, what was the thing? So retro. Um, I think it was so, so retro. Um, so you had to make a sewing box and then use retro colors. So very, very challenging because I like brown colors and dark tones and, um, you know, retro has a bunch of different colors. So, um, let's see here. This is what I came up with. And by the time you see this, my, my partner will have already received her box. So that's why I'm not covering up her name. Not that I don't think you can see it all that well in the in the video anyway. But I did a zippered, um, one of those zipper flowers. And thank you, Carlene, for the video. And I just added two little pearls. And then what else did I do? I did a dress for me. This is a die cut, um, a cut, not a die cut, a cut from the, um, the Cricut. Um, I forgot what um, cartridge I used. So then this is some lace that I got um, on one of my last videos. So, and I love this color, so I figured it matched perfectly. And then um, this came in um, this little pack here. And it's paper, so I wrapped it around um, a spool. And then I used it like that, see? So very cute. These are the little plastic scissors that it came with. And I just added two flowers, excuse me, two roses that I, um, I want to say I glimmer missed it. I did, I glimmer missed it and I forgot the color right now. So then there's a little um, thimble there. And this is part of a, um, a button package that I actually bought specifically for this um, project. And it brings a thimble, it brings this little um, needle there, I wonder if you can see, more or less, yes. So I used it for that, and then there's a little um, spool here as well with some twine wrapped around it. So that was that, and then this is um, that punch, that big, big punch from EK Success. And um, I used that, and then just some <clears throat> pearl trim around it, and then some rickrack and green around it very simple um, I used I forgot what color I used uh, the, from the Liquitex <sighs> I can't remember the color but that's what I used to color the box and then the inside I will show you I didn't do too much to it these are all the goodies um, but see I just um, used to dike the oh and the paper in the background is from die cuts with a view and I actually have the crafty stack um, and it has this in cardstock, but I, I, bu I bought the regular paper that's like softer, you know, like regular paper to cut to put on here. And then I used that on the inside. And then here I am, um, I just used one of my, oh, you can't see, I used one of my punches, Martha Stewart punches. And then just some buttons and some flowers. Kept it really simple on the inside. I don't sew, um, so I couldn't make it really, really pretty and, um, I, I couldn't figure out how to do the pockets to make it, you know, st stuff. Um, and then this, I got... Um, I made a little suitcase from one of those, um, the suitcase die. From the Sizzix, it's the extra large one. And then I just tied it with some twine here. And then there's some goodies in there. I made some flowers with my Cricut, which I'm sharing with my partner. Or my swap buddy. And then the inside, on um, the bottom is just you know regular paper in there as well so that's that and then I made some um, one of the challenges was to do a pin cushion and um, I think it's worker forever she did a, a video with her mom making a pin cushion and um, it was very very looked very easy and so I tried it so this is what I came up I didn't have any um, what is it called fabric that was patterned that looked really nice you can say so I just you know I had white off-white and that's what I used and then some of the ribbon rosette trim here in pink see I still say that it's not really pink it's like a peach anyway I used that and then I had um, some lace that Marlene had given me from Uniquely Elia, Elia Blogspot and um, I used that for here because it was the perfect width to cover the bottle the bottle on the inside, I just I glued some dew drops and then I added a bunch of little buttons, miscellaneous little buttons in there that rattle, you know, and in colorful retro theme colors. So I did that, um, put some stick pins in it, make her some stick pins. 
I did that and then I also made um, this frame here was an inspiration by um, Juliana Juliana she's um um, I think it's I love vintage I love vintage scrap on YouTube and um, when I was looking at her video for her her, her scrap room you know it's just beautiful all these shabby chic vintagey stuff so um, I, you know it inspired me to make this frame and this frame <clears throat> was black and I just um, I used the folk art vintage white and I used a sponge to give it some texture on it and then I um, I was trying to use the embossing um, tattered rose from Tim Holtz Distress Powders, embossing powders, and my heat gun broke midway through the project, so I was so upset. But anyway, I finished it, and then in the back, um, it has like a corrugated backing um, that I just painted with the picket fence um, crackle paint. <clears throat> just brushed it, you know, over lightly, and then I went ahead and distressed it with the antique linen so that it wouldn't look so white, and then I just stamped like a quilt a friend will warm your body and comfort your soul and then i added some button a stamp that i have a button so these are some sprays that i have at my store some flowers and i used the uh, i think it was a, yeah the cosmopolitan pink i want to say i believe it is the cosmopolitan pink on these two flowers here okay so um that's that's one thing. So Juliana, you inspired this. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, ladies. And then my card. Card is just so making memories. Um, pleated ribbon, satin ribbon. Very cute. It's very thin. Just added some little pearl trims there. A little butterfly. A little saying, and then just some um, I am roses flowers and bling. Can't have too much of bling. So I just used a regular kind of card stock, and you guys know that I suck a card, so this this is the best of embellishing I can do on a card, I guess. So that's that, you guys. That was, those were all my handmade projects that I made. Um, I think that's it, okay? Pretty much, yes, that's it, girls. So I hope my secret, um, my swap partner likes it, put a lot of thought process into it because again colors weren't the easiest but um, I like challenges so I hope she enjoys it thank you much thank you so much for stopping by ladies